Hey guys, here we are with Angel, the finale of season two. I can't believe we're here. I mean, I can, but I can't. I can because I've been doing this season, I feel like, for the longest time compared to any other season of, of a Buffyverse situation. So, um, but in the last episode, first of all, at the end of the last episode, they had what appeared to be Lauren's head on a silver platter. And I'm really hoping that that's not real because I love Lorne. And I'm going to be really pissed off if that's actually him because he's one of the best characters. So I hope that that's not the case. I hope that they were just like kind of playing a trick on her or whatever, but... I guess we're going to end up finding out. Um, Angel had met Fred, and he also realized if he triggers his demon side, the vampire, um, it's like a pure like form and is really monstrous looking. Uh, and he kind of freaked out a little bit in the last episode. And him and Fred... Uh, got pretty close so I'm wondering I don't know I keep thinking that different characters are going to be a love interest for him but maybe not I don't know um I think she could possibly be one because I think that they would be cute because I'm assuming that Kate's no longer going to be in the show so yeah um and then what else happened I mean just Wesley Wesley and Gunn are trying to um find angel make sure that he's okay and then they're trying to get cordelia and then they're also trying to figure out how to get back home and all of that so yeah but i think what i'm wanting out of this episode is oh i hadn't really thought about it to be honest because i've been thinking about the buffy finale <laughs> so i think that they're gonna end up going back home i don't think that they would probably stay in this place for for longer than this like after this episode i would like lauren to still be alive um but predictions i think they'll end up going they'll figure out how to go back home um as in like massive things happening it could be that lauren is actually dead and yeah but i don't know that just doesn't seem right to me um I'm trying to think if anything else big would happen. Maybe they end up taking that guy with them. The, oh, I forgot the Gersler or the Gus, Gussler or I don't know. I don't know what his name is, but um, I could see them taking him with them. They're going to take Fred with them. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm just really interested to see how they're going to end up doing this episode. And hopefully Lauren's not dead. So yeah. Um, Anyway, if you want to check out this episode or any of the others completely unedited or get early access for the next ones, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. But his horns aren't even the same color. Oh God, please forgive me. This is all my fault. His horns were like red. I pardoned you and, and they wanted to teach me a lesson. I just want to go home. Oh, honey. I'm right there with you. Oh, well, I guess he can survive without his head. Okay. All right. Well, I'm happy about that. I realize this is a bit of a shock, but I can explain. Take it easy. Okay, get it out of your system. <laughs> That's good. You have to breathe sometime. But good Lord, shut up, woman. It's not like I have hands to cover my ears here, you know? We heard a fearful shrieking. Oh, the shrieking. <laughs> it's a... Uh... The royal meditation that I do to help me focus on the great affairs of state that I must manage. That was a good one. I figured she was probably going to say something about, like, there was a bug or something. I want to defile it more. Oh. <laughs> I'll just oh, keep man. it to spit upon, and, and when I grow tired She had to go that, and do I, that. I, I will make it uh, a planter. A, a traitor planter. planter. For all to see. You know what he is. He is the animal who took apart two of my soldiers. He is a Vantal, a drinker of blood. He can only be killed by fire, decapitation, or a wooden spear through the heart. Perhaps all three, just to be thorough, hunt him down. It shall be done, my lord. 
I will personally bury a Vantar? Is that what they're calling them? Captain, his heart is where a cow's is. The cows need to know what we can do to them anytime we choose. Oh, oh really? Please clean that up. Forgive me, gun. I should never have opened my mouth. I got a plan. Oh, thank God. What is it? One. We die horribly and painfully. You go to hell and I spend eternity in the arms of baby Jesus. <laughs> oh. Two. Three. <laughs> oh, that was perfectly timed. This is our chance to escape. Let's hurry up. Why wouldn't you? You saw what I turned into. Back in LA, it's bad. But here, it's... Worse. We all got our demons. <laughs> this is just a literal one. I love tacos. Do, do they still have them? You know, back... Oh? Mm. Yeah, they did not love I think she was gone, what, like five years <laughs> is what they said? Not. I've been trying to make an enchilada out of tree bark. Is, is that what they really call me? Uh, anyway, you have served me long and loyally these last two and a half days. days. <laughs> I'm very fond of you, Lamara. Morelda. Okay. Take off your clothes. <laughs> Lorne. Wait, I thought Lorne was gay this whole time. Well, there's the sun. Also Sons. The thing inside that wants to rip my friends apart. These are the words we used to open up the portals. They're not words. They're constant representations of the mathematical transfiguration formula. Okay. Well, obviously. I used to think if you said <laughs> I don't know what that means. and in the right order, the quaking and quivering would... Somebody must have opened up the portals for them. Maybe you did and you just don't know where. Me? I don't think so. The priest she probably the did. Power here. Ooh, be careful not to trigger your demon. Missed the heart, did I? Ooh, shit. Don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. He probably needs to trigger the demon to heal. It's probably what's gonna end up happening. Oh damn! Is was that the leader guy? What it they looked did like. They didn't come for us. They came for you. Though their hands were tied and their necks were bared, they fought with us. I'm ashamed. We nearly cut your heads off. Mm-hmm. You're just doing your job. You were free to go. <laughs> you heal fast. One of the pluses of being a beast. But you're not. When you were fighting this time, you didn't change. I was afraid. What? That he was going to hurt I her? I never get back. Oh. I'm always thinking more romantically. <laughs> What's the gruesome lug baits with her? She'll be put to death, like we already did with that traitor, Kreveler and Swath. You killed Warren. Well, we cut his head off and mutilated his body. Ooh. I have to go. It's too dangerous. They'll kill you. My friends are in trouble. One well, although Lauren is still alive. It's safe here out there. It's, it's safe here with me. Since when do I have five toes? Shh. Somebody's coming. What? Do you mind if I hit him over the head with you? Yes. Oh, it's the Grusalix. Guru, it's you. I stole his body and put his strange garment on these parts to fool them. You did all this for me? That's not terrible. Aww. That's wonderful. <laughs> well, it feels like somebody works out. <laughs> Born. Hi. Yes, we have to show them. Can't defeat them. They have the power, they have the wealth. We have no plan. I say storm the gates. If you do, they'll cut you down. You cannot wage a frontal attack against a stronger opponent. This kind of battle can only be won through guerrilla warfare. Which is... By being sneaky. And you have a plan. Besides, our leader's dead. Hail True. to our new leader! Hail! 
Why do people keep putting me in charge of things? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> The thing is, is that he's really smart and he's totally leader worthy. He just has no self-confidence. She's going to end up going with him. I don't actually know how to get there. Oh, <laughs> I can show you. Who believes in literal Tarkin nowadays? <laughs> it was worth it for one moment of your intimate touch. That was an accident. It, it was kind of dark and... <laughs> oh, you mean the hug. Yeah. Oh, where were we? Um, oh yeah. The nut cake clergy They are really guys. cute though. They need someone to disobey them. They're evil and they run an evil regime. I am unworthy of lifting your burden, Highness. Nonsense. You're way worthy. What burden is that again? When you receive me. On the night we are wed. I receive. <laughs> yes. Oh, Cord there you go, receive. Cordelia. When I and you serve them. Your vision shall pass to me. Oh. I like them. Okay, I don't like the searing pain and agony that is steadily getting worse. You are pure human. You are not meant to carry such a burden. Maybe so not. he isn't full human. Okay, well that makes sense. I'm not ready to give them up either. They only last for like a... Oh, he's just getting one. Is that Angel? No. No. Well, I guess she's appreciated her visions now. Not that she didn't ever really appreciate them, but she just, like, really appreciates them now. But you're here now. Uh, if you want to... I mean... I need a much better for no worse. I, I, I can't. You know what happens. He can't, yeah, he can't trust himself. Although the slavery and degradation's no laughing matter. <laughs> it's no Krug Grain and Callberry breakfast, all right. <laughs> She's been here a while. Uh. Guys, um, it was. Yeah. Mm. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him That's to say it? that. Ah! Where's the praising and extolling of my virtues? Where's the love? You try not to get anybody killed, you wind up getting everybody killed. Get ready to move out. And he doesn't, oh, he's so uncomfortable with that part. What do you want me to do? Wes, I do this. You know I won't come back from it. Yes, you will. He's angel, he you. will. We know you. I could go with you. I know how to prepare the challenge torch. I'll come back. So that was Angel in Cordelia's vision. You really think you'll come back? I need him to think it. Damn, Wesley. What can I get you, princess? But he's doing what needs to be done. Who calls me? If this filth should win, he will ravage and he the will princess. defile her. He will use her for his pleasure again. He will not. He will die. Well, shit. Get to the stage! Get to the stage! Get to the stage! Get to the stage! He's gonna try to do it without bringing out the demon, I guess, but obviously it ends up coming out at some point. Oh, there you are. Please, I had a vision. The beast is gonna kill him. You have to stop it. Oh, oh shit. This is all your fault. You think you can destroy our way of life? Think this again. is her fault? You I let him go out and, like, in the world fight I'll Angel. I don't have to. But I I'm want to. to. Oh. And you and your filthy cow princess can go. Oh, shit. 
Oh, we changed back. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna find another way. Stop! Stop the fight! Oh, shit. Stop! All right. What part of me being all noble here didn't get through? Stop the fight. Don't hurt him. Stop. I love him. I love him. You love me? Not you, dumbass. Him. I love him. Oh. Uh, Angel, he's like me. Lay down your weapon. <clears throat> My psychic friend told me I had to come back here. I didn't believe her. Then I realized I did have to come back here because I really always thought I had to come back here deep down inside, you know? I had to come back here to find out I didn't have to come back here. I don't belong here. I hate it here. As it is now written, all citizens are created equal. Slavery and religious persecution are outlawed. Ooh, nice. So we can go home. All we got to do is take these to Angel's car and have her say the words. Those are sacred books, which you should have as a uh -huh. small memento. Do you have to go, Majesty? I don't want to. I'm really going to miss your eyes <laughs> and the Majesty thing. <laughs> Aww. Should people be bowing in a free society? These things take time. <laughs> oh, so they ended up back in this bar. Well, that's good. I could see them. I can see there being a time change, and they actually were in that dimension for like so many odd years, even though like in their time it seemed like two and a half days. Tacos everywhere and soap. Yo, that portal soap. jumping is a fun ride. We sell it to a theme park, we could get paid. Okay, can I say it? I want to say it. Because there still needs what? to be a cliffhanger. Oh, yeah, Willow's going to be there to tell him the news. Willow? What's... Buffy's dead. That's Buffy. Damn it! Oh! <sighs> Okay, so there was no time change. I was thinking, damn. I, I think that that could have done well. I think that they could have had like some sort of time change and then that would have ended up being their like cliffhanger or whatever. But I guess not given that Willa was there and is given that information. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, I, I just, I like this episode, but it didn't scream finale to me. I don't know. Maybe because it's still kind of early in the series, but... Yeah, there wasn't really much of a cliffhanger either, so I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll end up seeing how the rest of the episodes go and everything. And then, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.